Are you tired of your socks falling down? Do you spend too much time tugging on your tights? But no matter how hard you try or how high you pull them, they just won't stay up. When your thigh highs just aren't high enough and your socks are saggy, it might seem like all hope is lost. Well, not anymore, because we're here to help. Hi, I'm Taylor from Kimpatsu Cosplay. In this video, we're going to show you how to make sure your stockings never fall down again. What? Yes, you heard me right. Thigh highs that don't fall down and stay up all day long, so you can look fabulous in your costume without hoisting up your stockings every five minutes. But wait, there's more! If you go to KimpatsuCosplay.com today, you'll get a ton of tutorials just like this. And the support through our store helps us to keep creating new cosplay costumes, patterns, and YouTube videos like this on a regular basis. Today we're going to show you three different methods to keep your thigh highs up. Each of these has pros and cons and can be useful in different situations. Now let's get to the video and show you the first method for keeping those socks up. Method number one is body adhesive or body tape. For this method, all you'll need is body tape or body glue and your stockings. Body tape or fashion tape is a great way to keep clothing pieces secured to your body. They are small pieces of double-sided tape which are designed to be used on your skin. You also get roll-on body glue or spirit gum which can be used as well. To apply the tape, peel off the backing and lay it on your skin. Peel off the remaining film on the tape. Then you can pull on your thigh highs. Press the edge of your stockings into place on the tape. Now your stockings will be secured to your leg. To test how well the fashion tape works, I put one stocking on with tape and one stocking on without tape. I marked the top of the stockings with a pin, and then jumped and walked around to see if they moved. You can see the stocking with the tape is still in place, but the stocking without the tape did not stay up, so the fashion tape definitely works. Some of the positives about this method are that the tape and adhesive are quick and easy to apply. It's also not permanent, so you can reuse the stockings again if you need to for other costumes and outfits. On the downside, the glue and the tape may not last forever and can come off while wearing, especially during hot days. It also doesn't work on pantyhose. You need to put it directly on your skin. So if you like to wear pantyhose to smooth out your legs like me, this isn't the best solution. The other problem with body glue specifically is that it may leave a residue on your stockings and your skin which you will need to remove and clean. But for simple stockings and everyday use, this is a quick, easy method and it gets the job done. Method number two is silicone elastic. For this method, you will need your stockings, a strip of elastic with silicone grips on it, and sewing materials to attach it. Silicone elastic is an elastic band with small silicone dots or lines on it to act as a grip. The silicone pieces will hold onto your skin and keep the stockings in place. Take your silicone elastic and measure around your leg how much you will need. Pull it as tight as you want to wear it. Then take your piece of elastic and pin it to the top of your stockings on the inside. Stretch the fabric to match the elastic as you pin. Now you can secure the elastic in place with a sewing machine or by hand sewing it. To help sew over the silicone, you can use a roller foot or a walking foot. For stretchy fabric like this, I recommend using a zigzag stitch. Sew over the elastic all the way around. Once you're done, it should look something like this. The zigzag stitches should help keep the elastic stretchy. Now you can pull on your stockings. To test how well this method works, I once again put on one stocking with the silicone elastic in it and one stocking without it. After running around for a bit, you can see the silicone band has held in place and the other stocking has slid down. The silicone elastics are also a great method to use. Although it does take longer than the glue method, it's also pretty easy to apply. And unlike the glue method, it won't leave any residue. But on the downside, this method also only works on your skin, so you won't be able to wear pantyhose underneath. It is also a permanent alteration to your stockings, which might not work for everyone. But for very revealing costumes where you can't wear pantyhose anyway, this is a great option. And now, a word from our sponsor for today's video. Do y'all like dragons? Because we like dragons. 
I mean, who doesn't like dragons, right? Well, if you do like dragons, which I'm totally sure you do, then you definitely want to check out today's sponsor, Dragon Mania Legends. Dragon Mania Legends is a mobile game where you collect dragons and explore different islands and worlds, battling villainous foes along the way. When you hatch your baby dragon eggs, you can feed them to level them up and they even give you gold when you pet them. You'll build your own beautiful base with all kinds of different dragon lairs to house your dragon army. The game is free to play and you don't even have to spend a cent to enjoy the game if you choose not to. There are more than 600 creatures to add to your collection and they're all unique with different skills and strengths. Wow, so many dragons! Check out the Dragon Mania Legends link in the description if you're interested. Now back to the final method of keeping your stockings up. The third and final method in this video is the pantyhose method. This method involves permanently attaching your stockings to the pantyhose so they will always sit in the correct place. For this method you will need a pair of pantyhose, your stockings, and sewing materials. Start by putting on your pantyhose. Then take your stockings and pull them up and position them how you want them. Very carefully pin the stockings onto the pantyhose. Be careful not to hurt yourself with the pins. Once you've pinned the stockings securely in place, you can carefully remove the pantyhose and the stockings together so they remain attached. Now you will need to sew them together. Take your pantyhose and slide it over your sewing machine. Then sew around the edges and rotate the stocking. Be sure to stretch the fabric a bit as you sew and use a zigzag stitch to help keep the fabric stretchy. Now the pieces are connected together. Pull the excess pantyhose out of the stocking and cut off the end. Now you can pull on your pantyhose and your stockings together. Once again, I tried on the pantyhose with only one stocking sewn into place. I marked the top of the unsewn stocking with chalk. Then I walked around to see if it would move. The sewn stocking remained up and the unsewn one slid down almost immediately. This is my personal favorite method for keeping stockings up. This method is foolproof. It is a guaranteed way to keep your stockings up with no readjusting needed. And it will always be in the perfect position every time you wear them. This method is also great for stockings that are asymmetrical and have strange shapes on them. By sewing them to the pantyhose, it will make sure they stay perfectly in place. And because these are attached to pantyhose, your legs will look smooth and silky. The downside for this method is that it is a bit more work to attach the stockings to the pantyhose. And it is also a permanent alteration, so you wouldn't be able to reuse the pantyhose or the stockings again separately. And that's it! Three different methods for how to keep your stockings up so they'll never fall down again. Thank you guys so much for watching. This video was a super requested tutorial, so we hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know in the comments below what other cosplay tutorials you'd like to see us do next. And if you haven't already, be sure to join our cosplay community on Facebook and Discord, where you can get help with crafting questions, share your own creations, and your love of cosplay. We have links to these below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button. We'll see you guys again soon. Until then, bye for now.